Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Trabzonspor and they take on Sandefjord. Yeah, thanks Derek. I always get a buzz from being here. The players will feel the same, I'm sure. Fast start, always a good idea to impose yourself on the game straight from the off. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Fairly conventional 4 5 1 setup. Yeah, that back four will be protected throughout the game with the five midfield players in front of them. Really important that they do support that lone striker when they do have the ball. This is how the visitors will set up today. Pretty well balanced, this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. And the contest begins. A sloppy pass. Well, it was never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his teammates. Head in a hand sort of moment. Really good interception. What can he do from here? Offside, close one. Giannini and now here's Vitor Ugo and intercepts again well it could be on for him here oh he did superbly well to get back there and thwart him Abdul Kadir Parmak they might be able to get in now and the challenge crisp and clean Defended well. Well, nicely cut out. Can they take the lead? Wide of the target, and he's going to be disappointed. Disappointed? Wow, it's a shocker. He should be doing a lot, lot better than that. Retaining possession, proving difficult. Anthony Nwakemi. 
Marlon. Nwakeme. Marlon. Still passing it around with authority. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. The delivery nodded straight down the throat of the goalkeeper. Right behind it. The only way you can score there goes either side of the keeper. And the pass could do damage. Can he make it count? Well, you know, I don't think the goalkeeper will be the slightest bit bothered by that effort. Well, he won't want to watch that on the replay, I tell you. He was way, way wide there. Derek, the stats tell you everything. Neither side has really had any quality at all in the final third. The final pass has always seemed to be off, lacking in composure. Hopefully it picks up. Well, he played that one really well. And options in the centre. Pulls it back. Easy save. Moving the ball forward with purpose. A good and fair challenge. Breaking at pace. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. And not a great challenge. Free kick here. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Well, no problems defensively. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Must take the lead here. And danger still. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, an honest assessment would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game in attack late. I'm sure the keeper will think he's got away with one today. He's not been tested at all. Lack of movement for me is the key. He's got to do better. And the contest begins. was never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his team. Wide of the target, and he's going to be disappointed. Disappointed. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Baker, Abdul Kadir Parmak, far from a good pass. Disappointing pass. Well, visionary passing, and it all counts for naught. Marlon, excellent vision. Well, based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. And the offence sufficiently sinister to warrant a yellow card. Yes, agree with that one, Derek. He's got to be careful now. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Sing. Moving it forward. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack.
well read to ease the pressure He's showing a real will to win the ball oh what an opportunity many will have been convinced that that was going to be the opening goal of the contest well it's a golden chance isn't it and he's fluffed his lines what a big miss that is And they will make the change now. Baker. Vitor Hugo. Edgar Ley. Anastasios Bacasetas. And they have possession again. Making progress. And sadly, you've got to say, miles off target. Well, if it had just bent it or maybe just gone for a bit more accuracy. Instead, he went for the strong shot and he just fluffed his lines. Time for a change then. Edgar Lay. Bacasetas with it. The hosts have really controlled possession. But I don't think the manager or the fans will be too happy with this performance. It's all been a little bit too slow, too pedestrian. They need to find another gear if they're going to go on and win this. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. An attack full of promise. And a chance for them to nudge in front. He had just the goalkeeper to beat. He's got it completely wrongly. Well, he won't be watching that when he gets home tonight on a replay. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. And in with a real chance. Must be. Alas, a wild, wild attempt. Well, after that effort, I'm not sure whether he's right or left-footed. It is to be a throw-in. Not a great pass. How can they create something? And he's in! And it's come off the keeper! Singh. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. Looks promising this. Unable to keep the ball. And only two minutes remaining here. Great challenge, he got nothing but ball. 
Well, the electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Well, let's see if something comes of this. Well, a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. And the referee blows his whistle. Still all square after 90 minutes. And the contest begins. Well, it was never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his team. Wide of the target, and he's going to be disappointed. Disappointed, wow, it's just... Madelon. Excellent vision, and the offence sufficiently sinister to warrant a yellow card. Yes, agree with that one, Derek. An attack full of promise, and a chance for them to nudge in front. And in with a real chance. Must be. Alas, a wild, wild attempt. Well, after that effort, I'm not sure whether he's right or left-footed. 